Hi, I'm Ineke. I'm 44 years old and I'm from Holland. I'm a management consultant and I signed up to be a clip array circumnavigator. And this is my story. Um, I'd always wished to cross an ocean, um, but never really thought that doing a circumnavigation was a realistic option. So when I ran across the Clipper race um, and found out that circumnavigation is an option, that was a game changer for me and it was instantly clear that that's what I wanted to do. I grew up sailing a lot. Quite at a young age I started in, in Optis, um, did regatta sailing in that until I was about 15 and then I moved to slightly bigger dinghies and then I kind of lost touch with sailing a little bit but it's always uh, been a sport that I'm really interested in uh, I really enjoy being on the water um, but in recent years it just hadn't happened much and I think that's why when I was thinking about maybe taking a sabbatical um, sailing came out instantly I was like maybe that's something I want to do again I just started to long for being on the water again I love being out in the open ocean. I love looking out and just seeing water and waves and maybe some birds gliding. To me, it's a, it's a feeling of freedom. Uh, it can be daunting at times, um, but most of the time I just felt incredibly free and, and in touch with nature. In general, I've been quite pleasantly surprised with the amount of wildlife we saw. From Seattle to Panama, I think every day, at sunrise and sunset, we had a dolphin. We said, oh, there's the dolphin show. We've seen lots of birds. Um, the best ones to see are the albatross, the big, big birds. They're usually by themselves. They live on the ocean and they're incredibly impressive to watch and just see glide through the sky. We've seen some whales, some of them scarily close to the boats, but it's amazing to see that, that there are that many whales out there. One thing you really have to get used to is the flying fish. They like flying on deck, and preferably if they can hit you in the face before landing there, they'll do it. <laughs> so, um, so the flying fish is, um, is always interesting and they smell bad. <laughs> the last training we did was our level four training, which was with my own team and my own skipper on the boat that we were going to be sailing the race in. And what, what really stands out to me is that we were doing a little race with the other boats, um, but we're doing that in 35, 40 knots of wind. And I think for most of us, that was the first time we sailed on these boats with that much wind. And what it really taught me is that these, um, these 70s, the boats that we sail around the world with, are really built for what we're doing. With this kind of wind, they just start actually functioning really well. Also, in any other boat, you wouldn't even consider leaving port. So it really gave all of us, I think, a lot of confidence that we could do this. I'd like to think that I'm comfortable everywhere on the boat and throughout the race I've had the opportunity to be everywhere from the bowsprit to the top of the mast to the back of the boat. Um, but where I feel most comfortable uh, and where I love being is at the helm. Once you're actually on the helm it feels quite light. Um, it feels as if it's right that you are in control of the boat. That takes a little bit of getting used to under the different sails. And sailing a spinnaker is very different than sailing wide sails. Sailing upwind is different than downwind. But we have many, many, many thousand miles. <laughs> so over time you become really confident and you really start to understand how the boat responds to the different movements and the different wind types and how you should be reacting to that. Um, so it becomes natural um, to, to sail the boat that way. The times we spend in port are incredibly intense, motivating and interesting as well. It gives you a bit of an experience to see some of the countries um, where we pass through. I have, for instance, never been to China, um, so I was super excited about going to China. And then uh, Sanya and Qindao are not exactly the most standard Chinese ports for a tourist to visit, which I actually really enjoyed. I got to see two different um, aspects of China that I otherwise probably wouldn't have seen. So that was, a, that was a great experience. It also gives a really good exposure to doing things around the boat, boat that aren't related to the sailing directly, like the maintenance, doing rig checks and servicing the winches. In the beginning, that's kind of intimidating. I was like, I, I don't know if I can add any value to that. I don't know how this works. But now after a year, I feel so confident going around the deck of a boat and seeing this is a problem, we need to fix this and just taking the right tools out and getting it done uh, gives a really um, good, um, good feeling about yourself.
I've had the amazing opportunity to actually be involved with a project in Holland with 10 to 12 year old school children. They follow me around the world as an adventurer, um, doing assignments along the way um, that are particularly relevant for their own curriculum, but linked to my adventure, for instance, uh, around Dutch maritime history or around the plastic problem in the ocean or about marine biology and it's been a really no um, humbling hum humbling experience because um, these kids are super motivated and interested and I get these questions along the way through a Facebook page or or directly from them from really innocent questions like is there a teddy bear on board to what are you doing with all your garbage on board because you cannot throw it over in the sea and you, we need to make sure that we recycle all that. So it's been a really, really fun and, um, and humbling experience to work with these children. Objectively, as a circumnavigator, what you achieve is incredible. It's easy to forget ourselves that, that what we've done is, is something quite remarkable because we do it every day and it's been a whole year that builds up to this mo to the moment of completing it. But then there's moments when it just hits us, uh, or at least me, They're like, well, this, this is special. It's definitely been, uh, been an incredible journey and an incredible achievement, and sometimes that that um, that's clear and sometimes it's not at all. <laughs>